A young man once said, when you give nature a chance to bounce back, nature does it in style. Arun Krishnamurthy made that tough decision to leave a dream brand like Google after a brief stint of three years and went after his bigger dreams. Arun Krishnamurthy now leads the charge in restoring India's polluted urban lakes. The bigger dream of Arun Krishnamurthy has driven him cleaning over 17 lakes successfully across India. Arun Krishnamurthy founded the NGO Environmentalist Foundation of India EFI in 2011 which is based in Chennai and has branches in Hyderabad, Delhi and Coimbatore. EFI has also set up 19 biodiversity parks in schools. Arun Krishnamurthy, an avid filmmaker, photographer, uses innovative methods such as documentary films, street plays, dance and musicals to create mass awareness. Arun Krishnamurthy is the recipient of the British Council International Climate Champion Excellence Award in 2010 Google Alumni Impact Award in 2011 and the youngest to win Rolex Award for Enterprise in 2012 for Scientific Lake Restoration in Chennai. Put your hands together to welcome the lover of lakes, Mr. Arun Krishnamurthy. Greetings and salutations to everybody present here. Namaste, Vanakkam. My name is Arun Krishnamurthy and I run the Environmentalist Foundation of India. We are a small group of people who, who wish to do something for India's environment primarily because we believe that all these years we've been continuously taking from this country without giving back. And that's exactly where our position stands today. If you talk about environment conservation, a lot of us in this room would agree that Check if there is no conscious living, if there is no sustainable Check. living, Check. you and I cannot continue to live on the face of this planet. But despite knowing all this, with a factor of urban arrogance, with a factor of urban arrogance and just because you and I are educated, we think we are the superior species. That's why we have a small problem and change of attitude. We are people who believe that real-time, result-oriented environment conservation is the answer to a sustainable future. Two months ago, if this kind of a conference was possible in this very hall, no. Why? Primarily because the river showed us what her boundaries were and she was running everywhere between this particular property to another property where a lot of people sit and work today as we speak. That's where the river belongs. And this is exactly where we have a problem that you and I are running behind a distant dream which we don't even know whether it exists. Ladies and gentlemen, this nation deserves a lot more and this nation deserves us to volunteer. I'll tell you why. I grew up in suburb and Chennai in a beautiful village called Murchur. Murchur was the epicenter of the recent floods in Chennai. When we moved into Murchur in 1992, there used to be this pond. My house was strategically located between two beautiful water bodies. A pond 30 meters to the left of my house and a lake say 100 meters to the right of my house. 92 to 96, I used to enjoy this water body every bit of it. Whenever we had these monsoons, uh, water would flow from the lake through my street into the pond. As a child, I remember drinking water from my streets. 1996, we decided it's good to go on a small trip to Kanyakumari to better understand Vivekananda. 25-28 days, we were not there at home. When we returned during the, the month of June in 1996, the rubble, construction rubble was being dumped into this lake and there stood a board. The board read Lake View Apartments. Then in a matter of a year and a half, there were apartments built on the lake. Lake view apartments built on the lake without a lake to be viewed. And that's how we killed one water body right next to our uh, house. And that's, that's exactly meant the destruction that happened 20 years later. If you thought, if you and I were made to believe that what happened in Chennai two months ago was a natural disaster, definitely not. I'll tell you why this city is a blessed environment, is a blessed ecology that which you and I do not know. It's shame on every single one of us that we had to wait for the news channels to tell us that we had three rivers, that we have three rivers in the city that you and I call home. Even today, if I ask the audience here, every speaker kept asking the audience questions. So it's my turn to do that. If you can name the three rivers that we have in the city, a lot of us didn't know that we had three rivers in the city before the monsoon struck two months ago. The Kosasthalayar, the Kuvam and the Adayar. And if you thought that the river that runs next to Malar Hospital in Adyar is Kovam, you and I are taken for a surprise, that's the Adyar River. And this is exactly where the larger problem lies. 
I'm going to take you on a small trip now where I wish you understand the city's ecology the way we've understood it in the last eight years. Think of the city where from north to south, west to east, there are three rivers. This city holds the record in the world for the three shortest rivers in the world where you have the Kosastalyar in the northernmost tip to Kuvam in the central and Adyar in the south. And then this city is home to one of the largest marshlands, the Pallikarnai Marsh. Every single bottle that you've consumed today would go sit in that marshland end of this conference. And that's exactly why we're requesting every single one of you not to dump. When you and I were in school, probably we were taught how to dump things into dustbin. Today, probably we need to tell people not to throw even into a dustbin. Have we ever wondered where all of it goes? It goes into the larger Pallikarnai Marsh. Then think of the city's beautiful hill ranges. Have we ever ventured adventurously or just in search of ecology into our hills? Starting from St. Thomas Mount, the, Tirunir, the Tirusulam Hills, the Krompet Hills, the Pallavaram Hills, running behind Tambaram, Chitlapakam, Nadavirapattu, Vandalur, and then back into Sitalapakam. Look at a Google Earth imagery of these hills. They form a large question mark. Within the cavity of this question mark are freshwater bodies. The Kilkatale Lake, the Madambakam Lake, the Perumbakam Lake, the Arasan Kalani Lake and many, many more. And outside of this cavity is your marshland. Immediately outside of your marshland are your open blue oceans where you have dolphins, sharks and sea turtles. And this city is also home to scrub jungles where you name it, we have them all. From a black buck to a spotted deer. And this city was once home to leopards. Fact, proof of that, just outside of Chennai in Tirupurur forest, even today you have a vibrant leopard population. So if you and I thought that this city was meant only for buildings and for us, the so-called educated, definitely not. The city is home to so many more species, so many more different life forms. And that's exactly where we need to bridge the gap between who we are and what we give to our city that we call home. I'll tell you why. Because every single day you and I generate anywhere between 8,000 to 9,000 tons of trash in the city and we, end up at, and we ended up in a marshland. You and I are talking about olive ridley sea turtles that are dying day in and day out from December to April in this city. We are talking about the country's second most air polluted urban, urban pocket in the country which you and I are breathing today. Have we ever wondered what water, the quality of water that you and I are drinking? A funny quote was that Chennai is probably the only city in the world where until 10th of October 2015 there was drought-like conditions. From 11th of October to December 20th there were flood-like conditions. From December 20th to from December 20th onwards we are back to drought-like conditions. Example of that the Adambakam Lake. When we went to Adambakam Lake during the floods, we asked people, "Where do you think is the dry place where we can take people?" People said, "Let's go to the lake." We asked them why, because the subway is underwater. The apartment complexes are underwater. The lake is the only place where there was no water. Then that exactly shows how poor we are in urban planning and how poor we are in perceiving our own land mass. And today, several of our lakes are bone dry. It's, it's a pathetic state of affairs here. Then there's no point just blaming the government. What is it that you and I have demanded? Two months from now, when they come back to us asking us for our ballot, are we going to demand a cleaner environment for a greater future? Definitely no. I'll tell you why that problem is. And this is a personal choice, so I don't have any issues with anybody who's deciding otherwise. When we are at school, we are told how we need to prepare for SAT exams so that we could leave this country immediately after school. If we fail that exam, then when, while doing our UG, we have our own justification that UG is good to do in India, PG you should do it abroad. So we prepare for our GMATs and immediately after, if we fail that GMAT exam, also, we decide to work with a corporate and wait for that on-site opportunity to get out of this country. That is where the larger problem is. We have the C disease. If you have wondered what the C disease is, we are suffering from what is called as crisis identity. We take it as a shame. I started my speech in English only because you all would start listening. நான் <laughs> இப்படி மட்டும் யோசிச்சு பாருங்க ஒரு வாய்க்கு நம்மளால இட்லி வாங்க முடியும் குடிக்கிற தண்ணியை பத்து ரூபா கொடுத்து வாங்கணும் 
இன்னும் கொஞ்ச நாள் போனால் காற்றை சுவாசிக்கிறதுக்கு கூட நம்ம பைசா கொடுக்க வேண்டிய ஒரு கட்டாயம் வந்துடும் நான் இதை மட்டும் சொல்லிவிட்டு என்னோடய இந்த உரையை முடிச்சுக்கிட்டு எப்போவுமே ஒன்றே ஒன்று வாழ்க்கையில் ஒரு டேர்னிங் பாயிண்ட்டுக்கு நம்ம எல்லாருமே வெயிட் பண்ணிகிட்டு இருப்போம் அட் சம் பாயிண்ட் வி ஹாவ் டு டேர்ன் டேர்னிங் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் டோன்ட் ஹேப்பன் வி திஸ் இஸ் அ பாயிண்ட் இன் டைம் வி ஹாவ் டு டேர்ன் இன் ஃபேவர் ஆஃப் இந்தியாஸ் என்வாரன்மெண்ட் ஐ வில் டெல் யூ வாய் வென் த ஃப்ளாட்ஸ் ஹேப்பன்ட் நம்மளுக்கு வந்து அன்றைக்கி சாப்பாடு கிடையாது அன்றைக்கி தண்ணி கிடையாது எல்லாருமே வந்து முழிச்சுட்டு இருந்தாங்க ஆனால் எல்லாருக்கும் வாட்ஸ்அப் இருந்தது அப்போ என்ன டெக்னாலஜி வச்சு என்ன பண்ண முடிஞ்சது கண்டிப்பாக நிறைய பேர் ரீச் பண்ண முடிஞ்சது காப்பாற்ற முடிஞ்சது பட் பியாண்ட் தேட் நத்திங் மோர் முடிச்சூரில் நடந்த ஒரு சம்பவம் ஒரு அறுபத்தி ரெண்டு வயது முதிர்ந்தவங்க அவங்கள வந்து அவங்க வீட்டிலேருந்து தண்ணியிலேருந்து வெளில கொண்டு வரோம் கொண்டு வந்தோடனே அவங்க அவசர அவசரமாக எங்களை போக விடாமல் ஒரு நிமிஷம் நில் அப்படின்னாங்க என்னன்னு கேட்டோம் எங்கேயோலாம் தேடி ஒரு பன்னெண்டு ரூபா எடுத்தாங்க ஈரமாக இருந்தது அது கூட கையில் கொடுத்துட்டு எங்கிட்ட இப்போதைக்கு இவ்வளோ தான் இருக்குது ரொம்ப ரொம்ப தேங்க்ஸ் என்னை வந்து காப்பாற்றினதுக்கு வெள்ளமெல்லாம் வடிஞ்சதுக்கப்புறம் கண்டிப்பாக எங்கள் வீட்டுக்கு வாங்க நாங்கள் எங்களால் என்ன முடியுமோ கொடுக்குறோன்னு ஐ கேவ் ஹர் பேக் த டுவெல் ருபீஸ் அண்ட் ஐ சைட் இதுக்காக இதை நாங்கள் பண்ணவே இல்லை ரொம்ப தேங்க்ஸ்னு அதே ஒரு பத்து நிமிஷம் கழிச்சு ஒருத்தர் வந்து ஃபோனை கொண்டு வந்து கொட்டி வாக்கத்தில் வந்து எல்லாருக்கும் பிரியாணி கொடுக்குறாங்களா நீங்கள் என்ன எங்களுக்கு வெறும் பிரெட்டாக கொடுத்துட்ருக்கீங்க ரெண்டு நாளாக அப்படின்னாரு இந்த ரெண்டு விதமான க்ரௌடையும் டேக்கிள் பண்ணி எல்லாருக்காகவும் இந்த சு இந்த மாநகரத்தின் சுற்றுச்சூழலை காப்பாற்ற வேண்டிய ஒரு கட்டாயத்தில் இன்றைக்கி நம்ம இருக்கோம் ஏன் அப்படிங்கிறதுக்கும் ஒரே ஒரு உதாரணம் எனி கிவன் க்ரௌட் கேன் பி டிவைட் இன் டூ த்ரீ போர்ஷன்ஸ் சைக்கலாஜிக்கலி ஒன் நைன் அண்ட் நைன்டி வேர் ஒன் இஸ் த பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆஃப் த க்ரௌட் தட் ஹேஸ் த எபிலிட்டி டு திங்க் and 9 is the percentage of the crowd that can process information that's given to it and where 90 is the percentage of the crowd which would just blindly comfortably follow any instruction that's given to them if you're that one and nine we have the responsibility of catering to the remaining 90 in this country because ladies and gentlemen we need to take absolute pride in the fact that you and i were born with you that you and i are born in this country and have been living in this country i'll tell you why and i'll close the speech the only country in the entire world where you have a lion and a tiger in one geographical boundary you go to indonesia and the right they'll show you tigers go to south africa and the left they'll show you lions bring them to india we can show lion and tiger in one country the one country in the whole world where there are four different kinds of sea turtles three different kinds of leopards the clouded leopard in the northeast to the snow leopard in the north to the deccan leopard down south the one country in the whole world where you have the single horn rhino the elephant close to so many thousand different kinds of birds and that one country in the entire world where ecosystems blend and merge into finesse from one another from the glacial ecosystems to the desert to the evergreen forest to the plateau and to the marine ecosystems the one country in the whole world where despite such ecological wonders it's a beautiful beautiful india with select dirty dirty indians the problem is not with india the problem is with us we need to change and we need to take pride in the fact that this is our country and we need to break every barrier of gender caste creed language religion and whatsoever to stand united to conserve what is left and every time when you draw inferences we draw inferences from our forefathers who lived many many years ago in the last 60 years honestly i don't think we've achieved anything because we've not drawn inferences from anybody who's lived in the last 60 years that is the sorry state of affairs we need to bring it to a point in time where we should be proud of what our practices were and go back to it proudly please do not clap for me because i didn't come here for that next time before you sing the tamil thai valthu or the national anthem or use the word jai hind think twice as to what we have given back to this country to claim credit that you and i are indian i am absolutely proud that i could meet such wonderful people who i am sure would volunteer in cleaning one lake one pond or at least a forest patch near your house or cater to some dog some cat or at least a crowd which will go home thirsty and drink water and not touch one more bottle today to generate more waste i will be happy if we do that because that's where change is possible and that's where change should start i wish to acknowledge the presence of my mentor who's here whose name i don't wish to take now because he's going to be on stage next people like him who have encouraged many youngsters like me to do a lot of things and i'm sure there are such mentors out in this crowd who would go back to educational institutions and it is your responsibility to ensure that you motivate the young minds to take pride in the fact that we are indians and we should volunteer for india and her environment jai hind